Welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing a video that I feel like it's a rather exciting one. I have a two and a half year old daughter named Lucy and today I'm going to be sharing her playroom tour. Since we moved into this house I have been slowly decorating and basically prepping the room for this video. I knew this was a video that I really wanted to share and I did ask over on my Instagram page if you guys were interested in seeing this or a different video and mass majority of you guys voted for this video. So it made me really excited to even film. I did want to say that majority of Lucy's toys are from the brand Love Every. We do have a subscription box with them and we have been receiving boxes from them since Lucy was born and we just love it. We really like the fact that it promotes like education for her. There is always a task with each and every single one of their toys and Lucy really benefits from every single toy. Another company that we absolutely adore is Heart and Hand with Magnolia. It is sold at Target. This is the Joanna Gaines line and we're just absolutely obsessed with everything. So those two you guys will see a bunch of in this room along with quite a few Melissa and Doug pieces. I'm going to make sure to try and include links to absolutely everything I talk about in this room. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. This is pretty much the overview of the room as you walk in. I'm going to begin on this side. So we just and finally hung up these moons that we've had since Lucy was born. Those two have been hanging above her crib since I was pregnant and then later on I purchased this one. It is from the company Mimi and Lay. I'm going to link everything down below and I hope I remember the companies or brands to everything I'm going to talk about in this video. The colors of the moons, these two, was what I based the color scheme for Lucy's side of the nursery. So these finally got hung and I was waiting to hang them once we finally got this little cube unit. Lucy's toys were always on the ground and that's not how I originally wanted them. I always envisioned getting something similar to this and I wanted her toys to be in cubes, you know, a little bit more organized. And we finally purchased this the last couple of days and I set it up and I've had so much fun organizing, setting her toys up and it just looks so much more clean this way. We obviously did what we could in the meantime before we purchased this, but it just looks so much nicer with it. Right here on the side, we have this basket. The basket is from Target. I love it. There's a smaller version that I would eventually like to pick up. And I normally keep her plushies in here. Currently, I have the Alice in Wonderland ones that I had purchased maybe over 10 years ago from the Disney store. And there are five plushies. She's obsessed with Alice in Wonderland at the moment, so I recently brought them out. On the top shelf, um, these two are basically decor pieces. I recently picked up this little floral arrangement from Target at their dollar spot. It was only $3. This right here 
I cannot remember what company it was from. I'm going to try my best to remember and find it so that way I can link it down below. But it's not a toy, it's more of a display piece. The little wood right here is very fragile, so it can snap if a baby is, or even a toddler, playing with it a little too rough and obviously choking hazard for the little balls. So I just have it displayed up here for now. I just need to make sure that Lucy doesn't touch it or play with it. And then right here is her first toy. Majority of Lucy's toys are from Love Every. I know I've spoken about them many, many times on my channel before and I just love the company. We have been receiving their subscription boxes since she's been born and she's going to be getting her next one in the beginning of May. So I'm really excited to see what new toy she will be receiving. This is this ball one. She's obsessed with it. So every so often I like to bring it out. She plays with pretty much majority of her toys and that's what I really like about Love Every because she still really enjoys toys that are for the age one and even younger possibly. Um, I can't remember what age group this one is, but I still bring them out every so often since she's still very much obsessed with them. Next is toys from Heart and Hand, the Magnolia collection at Target. Lucy received this for Christmas uh, 2021. It's a little set of woodland creatures. She received this one for Christmas this past year. It's a little truck with a tree in the back and these little guys go perfect in here. Down below is this little racing car thing. She loves this thing. She loves anything with like ramps. The rest of the toys in here are love every, so no surprise there. These are little different, uh, different sizes of sticks that she just puts here. A very good hand-eye coordination toys. And fine motor skills, another one of her favorite. A lot of the toys that I currently have out are her favorites. And then there's these wooden balls that she loves to put through the little hole. And these are little matching peg people. And Lucy actually does really good with matching. Super cute. And this Love Every Toy was actually sold at Target. This little corner here is where we put Lucy's books. And I hung the canopy. Well, Rudy hung the canopy. And... The only thing that's missing in this room is a little play mat that I am going to be ordering from Amazon here. I will actually insert the photo of the one that I'm eyeing and that I am planning on purchasing to add right here. It's going to be basically where the unicorn is so that way she can go there, sit down, read books, play, do whatever she wants and I feel like it'll look a lot more put together with a little play mat under there. So as you see currently I have this unicorn with a couple of pillows. Right here is Lucy's little wooden stroller with her baby and I have a blanket because she's really into covering her toys and putting them to sleep. These are the books that I currently swapped out. I took out a lot of the Easter books and brought in a few more springy ones, a few fun ones like the Bluey. Lucy got the Lady and the Tramp and Alice in Wonderland in her Easter basket as well as the Lucille Ball. So I kept some cute fun ones. I have to have her garland kind of like hidden on the second bookshelf because our cats love to play with it and pull it down. I really enjoy having her bookshelf and I look forward to continue changing them out every season. I don't know if anybody remembers the bookshelf that we had in our old house, but they were a lot higher. We lowered it a lot this time around so that way Lucy can walk up and grab whatever book she wants. Obviously she can't really reach the middle one or the top one but it's fine, at least the bottom ones she's able to. Right in front of the window, I have Lucy's little play table. We got this at Ikea. And on top of the table, I have a basket that every week I switch out. It's filled with little toy figures. Um, again, at the moment, I have Alice in Wonderland figures that I purchased at the Disney store years and years ago. Obviously, these things were mine, and I had plans of passing it down to my daughter in the future, so she's obsessed with it. I just took these out today and she's really excited to play with them. This side of the room actually worked out perfect. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is where the closet is and the wall kind of pushes in as a little like indent. So her little play kitchen fit perfectly right here. I was really hoping that it was going to fit with the refrigerator that we purchased and it worked out wonderfully. Right here, we have Lucy's little silhouette that we got for her at Disneyland at her first visit. I'm still so obsessed with it. It is so darling. Down below, I hung this rattan mirror. 
I actually just hung it today as well. The mirror I did pick up at Target at the dollar section uh, last year, I believe. Right here is Lucy's little broom set. It comes with a broom, mop, dust, and a little like brush panel thing. This is from the brand Melissa and Doug. We also have a lot of Melissa and Doug toys here, as well as the Heart and Hand with Magnolia from Target, which brings me to Lucy's little play kitchen and refrigerator. It is from the Heart and Hand collection with Magnolia. Purchased it at Target. Obsessed. I know I mentioned it before, not sure what video, but I really wanted to purchase this play kitchen for Lucy. I had my eye on a few of them, but this is the one that I absolutely adored. And we managed to pick up the play kitchen just before we moved into this house. So by the time we moved here shortly afterwards, I built it and it just its so beautiful. It goes so wonderful together. This little plant is from Ikea. It's just been living there at the moment. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, so we've just left it there. This little toaster is from Heart and Hand. Comes with a little two toast and a couple more accessories, which I will get to. This is Lucy's little um, kitchen aid, as we call it. We purchased it from Amazon. It's from the brand Pear Pear. Lucy has quite a few items from this brand, and I really like it. This is the microwave. This is the heart and hand little pot and set. She got it for Christmas the last two years. <laughs> we re-gifted it to her this past Christmas. And on the side is her little spoons to bake with and then her napkins. Right here is Lucy's custom sponge for when she washes her dishes. Getting in here. This is a few of the accessories that goes with her kitchen aid. The little glove knife and spatula is from melissa and doug which goes with her little cookie set that she got for christmas last year and then down below it's her little pizza both things are from melissa and doug in the bottom of the fridge there's this little baked good set from heart and hand such a sweet little set and in the refrigerator section i'm going to start from the top there are some cups back here in the basket are the spoons and a cutting knife here are some plates second shelf butter which came with the toaster and these are the accessories that came with her little KitchenAid flour egg sugar and then a gingerbread cookie as well as a chocolate chip cookie and in the third shelf um, this is fruits from the pear and pear brand and then this wooden box contains meat. It is from the Melissa and Doug food set. These comes in a set of four with other foods like dairy, carbs, and uh, fruits and veggies, I believe. So I just put out the meats for now. I like to rotate the stuff in the kitchen every so often as well. Maybe every two to three weeks, I will rotate them out. On this side, I have the nuggets. I set it up for her to play every once in a while. We keep the other one in the kitchen. I'll use it to rest my legs or she or Lucy will use it to play on it. And there's this little hook that we hung and I have her little cape. It's so cute here. She hasn't played with it yet. I just hung it today as well. So I hung her little cape here and then her little purse that contains like lip gloss and nail polish. This is another piece from Mimi and Lay. So darling, obsessed with the colors. Last is this little shelf. I've been messing around with it. I'm not sure how it's going to stay, but at the moment, I'm really happy with how it looks. These are just a few things that we had in our other house hanging next to her crib. It looks very precious. This closet is basically jam-packed with things. <laughs> so on this side, I have a um, majority of her play kitchen items. I still keep the boxes, which makes great for putting things away and just keeping things organized. And then on that side is where all her Love Every subscription boxes are. Not all of them because I didn't keep the boxes for the first few months, but that's where we keep them stored. Bags are full of stuffies. It's the easiest way I found to keep them organized at the moment. I took these guys out from her shelf and just they're living right there for now. There's a few toys in there, just things that don't really have a home. And then in here, we have some activities for her to do, coloring books, markers, crayons, all that fun stuff. 
Lucy loves to just come in here and grab whatever she wants. A couple puzzles. Um, Lucy loves these um, grass, like the Easter basket fillings to play with a sensory. There's paint, stickers. Down here, we did have kinetic sand, but I had to hide it because she kept coming in here and constantly asking to play with it and it makes a huge mess. Just a few more things. Right here is just her spring, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter book collection. So I'm gonna have to rotate that out soon. Right on the side, I have her garland hanging for other seasons. Um, just a few of them. Valentine's Day in the back. This one's a pretty neutral one that I use for summertime. Almost done here. Uh, more plushies up top. Right here we have a little tunnel. Lucy loves that thing. I have to hide it from her. A little uh, karaoke baby shark thing that plays music. We have another little organization drawer set here. This is where I keep her kitchen foods. This is the rest from the Melissa and Doug. As I said, the carbs are right there. And then I have some of this felt um, carrots and veggies. Got it at the Target dollar section a couple of years. No, last year. And the same thing as these eggs. These little mushrooms also at the dollar section. They have really good things there. In here is where I keep the pizza and the cookie baking sheet. And then down here is where I have all of the little figurines and like Barbies and such that Lucy plays with, tiny little toys. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's playroom tour video and I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed make sure to do so and I will see you guys real soon. Bye!